What's going on you all? Coach Reese here, Pro Athletics, Fitness and Athletic Performance, coming to bring you a quick message that I keep seeing happening more and more often, and that's that losers legitimize losing. Losers always legitimize losing, or they try to discredit the winner or someone who's becoming great. For example, I'm going to use the Canelo Yildrim fight from last night. Canelo made that fight look like easy work, right? Canelo's a professional boxer. Yildrim's a professional boxer, right? Canelo works hard. Very, 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 very hard. Just as anybody else out here who's winning and creating greatness works hard. But yet, you'll get people on the opposite side saying that Canelo cherry pick, which Yildrim was a mandatory, but Canelo cherry pick because he made the fight look easy. It's not that you're going to give him credit for his hard work and his dedication to the sport and to the craft, but you have to consequent him by saying he cherry picked. Sound familiar? They did the same thing with Floyd Mayweather because he made a lot of his opponents look easy. So you're consequenting the great by saying that the greats are cherry picking. Instead of the greats are working hard and they're dedicated to their craft and they give that little bit more that you don't see in yourself and you side more so with the person who's losing, the person who didn't work as hard, the person who didn't dedicate themselves to the craft. Yildrum is a professional boxer. That's all these guys fought. Floyd Mayweather fought professional boxers, but yet instead of awarding and applauding greatness, you would rather side and legitimize with the losers. That's a losing mentality. That is a losing mentality, and that affects us heavily out here. Same thing in the music industry with your Jay-Z's and all the successful people, right? They sold their soul to the devil. It's just no possible way that they worked hard. They dedicated themselves to the craft. You know, 50 Cent, uh, Beyonce, they all just sold their soul to the devil. That's the only logical way that they got where they're, where they're getting right now, or they've got what they've gotten right now. You all have to stop consequenting or trying to find the flaw in the people who are succeeding and becoming great and actually look at what the loser did wrong. Stop trying to point fingers at greatness. They're working hard. Their job is to make it look easy. You're mad that these people are making it look easy, which they're not. You just don't see what they're putting in behind the scenes. You don't see the hard work. You don't see the hours. All you see is a reflection of yourself in that loser. You relate more to the loser. That's something that you gotta fix internally. Get out of that losing mentality, get into the winning mentality. All right, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. Check out my website, www.prophletics.fit. Also like, subscribe, comment under here. Let's get to talking, let's get to killing this losing mindset. Let's get to the winning mindset. Let's get to actually working hard. All right, let's do it. <laughs>